Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Lumber Tycoon 2. Um, I kind of noticed like this little, this weird shine that was happening when I was playing on my base. Oh, I, and I am on uh, a private server, so I'm just, you know, kind of hanging out. I wanted to come and get this thing done because it's been sitting here staring me in the face like, come on, Code, when are you going to finish the build? And I'm like, I just don't have time. You know what? <clears throat> I'm gonna make time. I'm gonna make time tonight to come and do this thing. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing. Um, but I happen to notice that there was this cool little shine, and I think this is this might be the new like update or the reflection, the lighting. Cause look at that. I mean, that is. I don't know if you can see the detail that I'm seeing, but that is awesome. Like it's shiny, and it's it's a reflection of the moon. Like you can you can see it moving. Like the lighting. That's uh, anyhow anyhow. Sorry. <clears throat> Let's go. Um, yeah, I need to build. Building is key. So um, I'm not gonna be able to build on that because I've already built on that one. So I need to start in over here. But in order to do so. Gonna have to, let's see, can I touch the things from the side? Yeah, I can. Uh, tell you what, let's do this. Let's build up the ladder first, and then uh, I'll put platforms along the way. And then, yeah, yeah, that's a, that's, that's a good idea. Let's do that, let's do that. Good idea, good, good idea. All right, we're gonna need some of this wood up there. I think we're using palm, I can't remember, but here we go. It did not work. <laughs> I may have to build up my skills a little bit. No, there we go. That worked. Oh, ow, ow, my head. All right. So let's go ahead and build ladder, 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 ladder. Lots of ladders. Um, not wedges, not furniture. There, ladder. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna build it along here, so I'm, that way I'm not disrupting the normal, like. Ice rink pattern thingy. Ooh, I, I didn't know I could get them closer. Maybe that's why I'm not a master builder. I am a master builder. I just, I like to complain sometimes, that's all. These are way too many blueprints, code. You're never gonna build all these in one night. I might, it just might take some time. By the way, it is really late. For me like I am getting this out way later than I probably should um, but we had where'd my axe go wait what? you know you fall asleep at your keyboard you wake up and you got a got an imprint of the space bar on your face and that's that's how this night's going <laughs> I'm just kidding all right uh, let's go I dropped it a second ago I had a whole bunch of ice wood here a second ago and I had to extend out the ice wood over there because there's like way too much anyhow long story short I had to build for like a good 20 minutes before I could start the video because there's just it was all over the place whoa 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 that was not there we go all right now throw, throw um throw haha <laughs> that's fun too fun we wait get back here <laughs> stop <laughs> it's not what I said to do all right and that's palm so we can throw that over there too oh I love I love being able to build like that I think all construction areas should have like an ice floor so whenever you're building oh lumber tech and two ice floors <laughs> couldn't really do that in construction you know <laughs> hey Bob did you get the palm wood over here yeah all right toss it in this blueprint wait do what Bill, I don't think building works like that. Ah, oh, sure it does. Been doing it for 20 years. Best construction ever. <laughs> I love I love the premise behind Lumber Tycoon too. Like the, I, I guess the mechanics. Mechanics are what I really like. And I hope, like I'm hoping that's the mechanics that we'll see in Projute as well. He's been working on it. I'm, I'm ready for it to come out. Um, we had 
promise of it being out for Christmas of last year, but school got in the way, RDC got in the way, you know, that's, uh, that's okay though. I will be patient. And would you guys want to see me start a new series of ProJute when it does come out? I mean, I think it would be fun. It could be like the new series that I do or something. I don't know. Oh, look at look at the reflection. Look at that. Oh, that is so cool. Like I know there was reflections and stuff added, but the the ice wood for some reason is just it's so pretty. It's a pretty wood for the uh the reflection and the lighting. By the way, if you are building in studio, there are new dynamic light settings and things like that. I haven't really played with them too much, but my goodness, the stuff that they're doing with the, the engine, the Roblox engine, is amazing. Wait, did that, where did that go? Oh, okay, it, it built, it built, sorry. Uh, I guess I don't need to build the ladders out of palm, do I? Now we're going to build it all out of palm. All of it's going to be palm. And I'm not even sure if this is palm. This could be birch, and I'm just not paying attention. But that's okay. You can build yours out of whatever you like. I mean, I've seen I've seen a couple of you guys builds for the uh, palmwood bridge, and they're awesome. You guys. Uh, by the way, if you have not participated in the Lumber Chat Discord um, Builders Competition, oh my gosh, you guys. I've been seeing images of you guys, like, creativity, and it is crazy. There's one that made a, a pelican. That was awesome. I mean, I, I do cool, logical, glitchy builds and stuff like that. I think the most creative one I've ever done was the, like the replication of my house, and that was it. Uh, maybe my YouTube logo over on the first base. But past that, I mean, you guys, hands down, beat me every time when it comes to the uh, the creativity builds. You guys are awesome. All right, we're done. What is... There we go. Got it. <laughs> All right, up to Daisy. And choppy time. Chop, 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 woo! Chop, 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 woo! Chop, chop, wee! Chop, chop, whoa! <laughs> How many are there? Five. Okay, I need one more. Chop, chop, wee! <laughs> All right, there we go. Well, that did not go as far as I had planned. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna build all of these by throwing blocks up. I might not be able to get that last one. Oh no, that was... It's like a little game. It's like a mini game inside a game. Alright, I can't throw that one. Alright, this one I can throw. Oh, I got robbed. Okay. There we are. Very well. Now I should be able to just... Hold on. Rotate. Just... just uh, ooh, uh, no, just right. Ooh, perfect. Skills. <laughs> and there. Also, I would highly recommend not doing what I do as far as like sleep patterns. Um, yeah. Make sure you're getting more than enough rest at nighttime. I know that they say, oh, the human body only needs eight hours of rest. Well, yeah, that's true for, like, an adult male. Um, but we don't get enough sleep. I mean, if you are an active child, you get more sleep. You're, you're supposed to be getting more sleep than an adult male or an adult parent. Make sure you leave plenty of time to sleep. If you're watching my video right now and you're supposed to be asleep, you need to pause it, put the phone away, put the tablet away, 
get out from underneath the covers and go to sleep. Turn out your light. Lay down. If you're a parent and you're watching my video laying down in bed and you've got work the next day, go to sleep. <laughs> That's right, kids. I just yelled at your parents as well. You guys need to sleep. Sleep is highly underrated. And it, it does, like, medically, it has been proven to aid in, like, so many functions. Cognitive distortion. No. Um, it, it plays a vital role in your everyday life, even if you don't know it. Okay, that's, that's build height. So when I reach build height, I need to, I need to create a platform. Hold on, Ooh, there we go. I'm gonna have to move this. I, I'm never gonna be able to get this back in there. Am I? Ooh, I got it back in there. What the, what in the world? How did that happen? Okay, I can, I can, okay. So I'm not gonna use that for platforms. Hmm. I might be able to put that back eventually someday. Maybe. So now what? Do I, need, I, I guess I just need to I just build some regular platforms up up there. Here. Um, since this is cheap and easy to to gather. Oh come on! Just do there it goes. <clears throat> Woo! Platforms shall be made out of oak, I declare. There we go. Alright. I need... Let's go two... Floors. Large floor, not tiles. I've done tiles before. Two... Three... Four. I'm gonna go with four platforms this time. That way... Don't have to worry about the Whoa, Nelly, come back here. What you doing? There it goes. This is flying off on its own. I don't want to stay here, Cold. I want to go off on an adventure. Well, we're, that's not what we're doing today, Mr. Oak Tree. We are doing build time with Cold. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Build Time with Cold. <laughs> Totally be one of those awesome instructional videos. I'd like to encourage you to drag out your chisels today and build along with us. Um, hmm. That's not gonna work, is it? Where? I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have to make the platform like kind of like these. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so. Let's do that. Whee! And then these, like if I do here, I'm just I'm just gonna move these up there and then I'll I'll move them around once I get up there. Oh, maybe. No, this one. Move. Glorious. This one as well. Splendid. Haha. <laughs> By Jove, I believe we've got it. I should be able to, like, can I? Oh, whoa, 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 what are you doing? Can I? Yeah. Okay, so I should be able to build from this side. Or if I need to, I can climb up the opposite end. But, oh, 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 stuck. Stuck, stuck. There we go. All right. Build this. Move. I'm just going to pop this out. Like, one, one, two, three, four. Four units. And put it back on this side. That way it's nice and even. There we go. No! What happened? Can I not build like that direction? I guess I guess that'll be fine. I can I can just use three. Three's fine, I guess. Wonder if it's gonna be fine for later. Maybe. All right. Wee. But what that'll do? That'll give me a. Uh, that'll do. Um. That'll give me a way to place ladders up there. That way I can go and move them later. Yes. Yes. That's what we'll do. Drag out your oil paints today. 
compete along with us. And if you want to rinse off your brush and just <laughs> beat the devil out of it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm in a Bob Ross kind of mood. I like Bob Ross. <clears throat> I'm also in like a, in a whole PBS kind of mood. Um, shout out to PBS Science and Physics Girl because I realized I'm subscribed to her and I love the facts that I see on there. Like, now she's got one that was talking about, um, oh, what was it? Basically dropping a flame inside a controlled environment and the flame actually has gravity to it. It was, it's cool, you'll have to see it. Anyhow, shout out for education. Time for science! Pull, pull. And, um, real quick, I know that quarters are coming up here soon, and a lot of you are starting to get your grade cards and get worried about your grade cards. I want you to understand, if your parents are pushing you to get A's, alright, A to me is extraordinarily exceptional like you you went far beyond what you were supposed to learn C's are average okay so I don't want you to freak out if you've gotten C's on your grade cards and in other countries pass fail and what's the other one common core stuff like that there's different different means like achieved not achieved whatever the scale is um, just know that you don't, like, <clears throat> okay, shoot for A's, yes, do A's, do great in school, but if you happen to get C's, don't freak out, okay, because a C mean, it is a passing grade, I mean, what do you call a doctor that made all D's in class, all D minuses, you call him a doctor. It's, it's, there's a lot of stress placed on kids to get A's, get perfects. Yes, we want you to achieve. That's because we want the best for you. But don't freak out whenever you don't get that perfect score. It's okay. A lot of stress was put on me back in middle school and, um, not really elementary so much. Elementary wasn't too bad. Yeah. If I wasn't doing so well in a certain class or whatnot, it, it was okay. Um, but it was really middle school, high school time frame that grades started getting pushed on us. And I don't, I don't feel that way with my kids. If they get an F, that's a problem. But when I see my kids and they, they get like a B minus and I see that they're so upset about it, I'm like, it's okay. All right, you can you can do your best to try and do better if you want, but you passed. I don't want you to think of a lower grade as a non-passing grade. It's okay, I promise. So, and parents, I would like to like express that to you as well. Um, I because I know you're listening. Um, my voice is probably all throughout your house, and you're sitting there, um, watching your kid like watch a tablet, or you're you know you might be sitting there with them watching me. Don't put too much stress into how they're going to get their grades. It's okay. Because in the end, at the end of the day, they're, they're going to learn in their own way. They're going to have something that they're exceptionally good at. Just like, um, maybe you're not so good at science, but you're really good at reading and writing. Or maybe you're not so good at reading and writing and you're really good at math. Or maybe you're not really good at reading, writing, math, or science, but you're really good at sports. Whatever your strength is, whatever your interest is, that's what I would like to encourage. Like That's what I want to push you towards. Do the thing that you're most interested in, that you have the most passion for. Um, 
I want to I, I want to be a computer programmer. I want to be a game programmer, and I still, to this day, want to be a game programmer. And I am a programmer, but I am a logical applications database SQL cold fusion kind of person. I'm I'm not the hey go make a video game kind of person. I'm really good at making Dungeons and Dragons models back whenever like I can come up with stories. I am very imaginative. Uh, the problem is trying to take that and translate it and put it into a game. Which I've done before, and I will do again. I am good at it. I don't have time. There's so much time that is required for video game making. I'm just kind of rambling now, and just realized that I'm off on a tangent <laughs> once again. Do, like, follow your passion. I promise. It'll lead to good, good places. And unless it's like, well, I guess, even if you are a fighter... If you, if you, <laughs> if you're a bully, no, um, if you're a bully, you're probably not watching my videos. Um, <laughs> if, uh, uh, if you like to fight, um, if you like to rough house wrestle, stuff like that, and everyone around you, like, is telling you to calm down, take that energy and actually focus it into, like, try and get into a wrestling or an actual sport of some kind. If you're in, in middle school, I don't recommend going all out. MMA, no holes barred fighting. That's n no. Um, but you try Taekwondo to start, or Karate, or some kind of like defense class. Because taking those classes will give you more of a discipline versus um, just fighting, fighting. And I mean, there's all kinds of stuff out there. There's Taekwondo, Jiu Jitsu, Ninjutsu. I don't know if Ninjutsu is still a thing. It's probably still a thing. Uh, if you like dancing, uh, try taking different classes or look up on YouTube on how to do capoeira oh yes capoeira and breakdancing beautiful stuff um, and for those of you that didn't know I used to breakdance I don't know if you knew that or not I, uh, I was part of a little group we called ourselves Ill Motions get it? Ill Motions? anyhow that was a long time ago Ryan, Mike, if you're still out there, dancing away, dancing the night away. <laughs> Just kidding. I think Ryan's in boxing now or something. There we go. Say cheese out there somewhere as well. Not seen you in a while. Say cheese. <laughs> if you've got kids, Ryan, if you've got kids and they're watching, message me. <laughs> That's okay. I've got them on Facebook somewhere. Oh, and real quick, if you guys message me or try and send me friend request on Facebook, I don't really have like I've didn't I have not set up my Facebook to be part of like the whole Code Primate franchise thingy. So it's not it's not me trying to be rude and say, well, I'm not just I'm just not gonna friend you. Just I don't I don't answer messages on there. Especially, like, I only use that for, like, people that I know and, and hang out with and stuff like that. It's more of a... I don't know. I probably should. I mean, that would probably have a really big reach if I were to just start. I don't know. I'm, I'm just playing. Just hanging out. Playing video games. Roblox. Hmm. What in the world? What? Oh. <laughs> that one block is 99, and I'm like, why are all three of those? Never mind. Keep going, code. Keep going. So I hope you don't mind that this is just a, a build night. It's not really off an adventure, trying to find Spookwood, normal, uh, normal adventures. Um, I tried jumping around and looking for um, that slot over there to be open I must have hit like four or five six different servers every single one of those servers had that slot taken so finally I'm like oh, I'll just load in my private server then when I loaded in <laughs> I was so distracted I was like okay click oh wait I just loaded in on the wrong one 
you know what? It's okay. I'm not going to be at Palmwood for a while. I know where I need to build. If you want to build a driving bridge that goes out to Palm, it's still going to be like this high off the ground, but build it on this side facing that direction out towards the ocean and as far over to the edge as you can. Try not to build right on the edge. Like, make sure it's pulled back a little bit. But that should be the perfect distance that you need to get a, a really far bridge to go out there. Um, when you load in, make sure you load in on that slot just in front of the land store. Um, your bridge is going to go through the land store, but that's the lowest point that you can get and the farthest right point that you can get um, without going through one of the, the rocks right here. Right here, yeah. So... That's the tutorial part of this. I hope you've enjoyed it. Anyhow, just a nice solemn build. And leave me a comment down below. Do you like these kind of, um, what in the world glorious? Did you guys see that? Oh, idea, hold up. Um, here, we'll do it with the oak tree. What? <laughs> Oh my gosh, did you guys see that? Okay, so. All right, if I turn. Oh. <laughs> okay, so there used to be this old trick where you could chop wood and turn and it would fling you, like the animation itself would fling you, right? And it, it didn't really work all that well. You have to, let's see, what am I pressing here? Uh, zoom in first person. And you, you look at the tree, you strike, and then you turn while pressing like W and A. So turn left and W, A at the same time. Watch, ready? And it used to fling you really far. In fact, you could get to palm if you knew like the angle and the way to like hit the thing. And this used to work by sitting inside a car and chopping wood from the car. If you if you were in the car, you chopped a tree, it would fling you and the car all the way out there. I think that was one of the first methods to try and get to the uh, the actual palm wood was to do that. And everybody like that did it and got there were like, okay, now how do I get back? So, because we've got zero, like, there's less friction on the floor. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't believe that glitch works. That, so that means that the glitch never went away. It just, the friction changed. That is awesome. Okay, I'm going to try it one more time. One more, and then I'll, I'll get out of here. Because I've, I've only got two minutes left. Um, if you guys are, are getting ready for school, I hope you have a wonderful day. And I hope that you make new friends. I hope that you learn something new. If you're just getting off from school or work or wherever you're coming from, I hope you had a wonderful day. And that you've made some friends. And that you've learned something new. Um, okay, so... What I'm going to do is, here's the theory. I'm going to chop this direction, turn that direction, and I'm going to hold W and D. So, here we go. Ready? <laughs> I'm going to have to zoom out to see what that thing's doing. That is awesome. <laughs> All right. And go. <laughs> Devaldio, I found how to speed run. <laughs> All right. Well, this was actually a very, well, kind of productive. I mean, I did I did build up that high. You know, and that, that'll be good for finding Spookwood whenever I load in my base too. So keep on the, the hunt, on the lookout for the, your Spookwood trees. They are still out there. I don't think they're in private servers. Um, a lot of people have been commenting that they're not in private servers. I still haven't found... A picture and when you take your picture make sure you include the top right hand side so I can see that there's one person 
in the server because it's very rare that you'll find a public server with one person in it. It just it distributes differently. So thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Taskin's Code Prime. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the very end of the video, but it doesn't really matter because it's your choice in the end. And if you want to hit the notification bell, you can, but apparently YouTube's not doesn't care. They're just, oh, they hit a bell. That's okay. Hey, did you pay for an advertisement? Did you pay for videos? Oh, here. You're, we're going to deliver you this. Don't worry about the bell. Deliver you this. This is the content you should be watching. That's me going off on a rant again, and that's because YouTube has been having a problem with their bell. But that's neither here nor there. I will continue to make videos. I will continue to love video games and hopefully start making some video games of my own. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. And we'll talk to you very soon. Outro.